My name is Dr. Amanda Holdsworth and I worked in school PR for almost 20 years and I left last year to become a professor and to consult. So I work with a lot of districts, basically kind of cleaning up all of their communications programs and helping them get set up and so that they can just take it and go. I actually heard about some more last year when I was at ENSPRA and I started working with um, a local district of mine who um, didn't have money for a full-time communications person and they weren't sending anything out. I had just proposed to them, you know, maybe we can do a monthly or quarterly e-newsletter just so we can talk about the great things that are happening in the districts. We ended up looking at some more and it was really cost-effective and it was very easy to do so that I could do the first couple for them, which is what I like to do. I like to be able to help set up districts and then say, here you go, now I've taught you how to do it. This is really easy. This has been vetted by me. I know it's a good product and then move on. I work with private schools, public school districts, um, done some charter school work before, some higher ed, so a little bit all over. Well, usually with the districts, there might be a one-person shop or maybe a no-person shop, and so communications have been all over the place. You know, the messaging is a little bit off, or they've been trying a lot of different things, and you know, maybe an ad here, or maybe an e-blast there, or text messaging there, or website stuff there. And so I kind of take it all and look at it through the communications audit and say, okay, so. So where are we at with this? What's missing? What can we do better? What can we streamline? You know, what can we cut? What can we add? And, and basically looking at it from like starting with the communications audit, then kind of moving into the research and really under, understanding what it is that they need. And so with S'more, you're able to go in and just make um, you know, these designs very quickly and have people sign off on them quickly. You can see the analytics right there and it's something that parents have really liked. And I've seen at least um, with e-newsletters um, to parents have been the biggest one. A lot of districts, you know, they have the schools send something out, which as a parent, I appreciate getting something for my daughter's school. So if you talk to any school communications person, the reason they stay in it, because they love telling the stories of the people in the district, but it's the other stuff that often gets in the way. So I really want to help them streamline all of that.